I'm not going to say what race, what people. We know I can't say that. It was a Jew. Definitely not an individual that belongs to any sort of marginalized group. I really care about people, actually, and Bernie Sanders should be president. Oh, every part of this is so good. What would you do if your favorite artist got exposed as a horrible human? Would you separate them from the art or disown them like a toy you don't want to play with anymore? Kanye's made sure that every single one of us faced this moral dilemma recently. What is loyalty in this situation? Are you harming society by supporting a problematic artist already in the limelight? And most importantly, does it even matter? Are you seriously playing Kanye right now? Wow. Wow, I'm perplexed, I'm distraught, I'm disappointed, I'm all of the above. This whole vultures drop and the reception to it really gave me an epiphany. Rooftop ran three, let's do it. Oh shit, I almost fell off the roof. Kanye West is a generational artist. And I don't mean just musical artist, I mean artist artist. Rap, pop, gospel, fashion. These are all real artistic movements he's influenced and contributed to on a major scale. My last year in high school, we had a Ye's Sunday service in the curriculum, like in the student books, along with Mozart and, and all the other pretentious musicians. But if you were to read these reviews out of context, you would think 6 9 made this album. Like the audacity of a jobless Twitter user saying that Kanye's production is completely trash, it, it just hurts. <laughs> it's just painful. And while these cute copes are disingenuous and unrealistic, they're symptomatic of a much larger problem. The absolute inability to give shitty people any sort of recognition. The only parts of this album that are kinda sorta tolerable are the ones where Kanye isn't rapping, and also Chris Brown, and also whatever other problematic person is on there. The great debaters and thinkers, they gave you a voice. Why can't you prosecute the crimes and not the thoughts I employ? Now, some of you may think these people are virtue signaling nerds, but I understand where they're coming from. Their position is, why would a bigot like Kanye deserve our consideration in the first place when he's so reluctant to give it to others? I'm not gonna separate the art from the artist if the artist is a piece of shit. Maybe if less people supported him after all these controversies, he wouldn't even have a platform to spew his ignorance on right now. So in an effort to be the best person I can be, I'm gonna boycott the art and make sure everyone else does the same. While this mindset sure does sound good in principle, it doesn't really work. At this point, I must bring up a Twitter interaction I had a couple years ago that will give you more context on this matter. So I said, just because someone is a piece of shit doesn't mean they can't be funny or talented. And they said, no, that's exactly what it means. If you keep supporting them and calling them talented, it negates all the bad they do. Now, I personally think negates is a huge stretch, okay? Maybe it detracts a little bit. But in any case, like, what is the alternative? What, am I supposed to lie to myself and everybody else? Is that what you want? You think everybody being disingenuous is gonna solve this problem? I hate how reductive and childish this whole worldview is. You know, that bad people aren't capable of doing good and vice versa. Someone who has a negative effect in one respect can also have a positive effect in another. Do you think a trans woman is a woman? No. <laughs> For example, recently my cousin gifted me a Jordan Peterson book for my birthday. <laughs> and in my head, I was thinking, oh brother, the traditionalist transphobe made a book and I have to read it now because a family member gave it to me. But now having read it, I can say confidently with my chest out, it's a good ass book. And it helped me become a better person. Genuinely. I should be able to say that without getting a flurry of eye rolls and unnecessarily loud sighs in response. Jordan Peterson sucks as a political commentator, but he's an amazing psychologist. Kanye West is a crazy person, but also a generational artist. That should not be hard for you to say. Thanks, by the way, it's, it's a great gift, okay? I like it a lot. <laughs> hey, did you know that MLK allegedly watched and laughed while his friend committed rape in front of him? He cheated on his wife 40 times. 40, bro. That's a lot. LeBron can't even give you that anymore. But does that take away from the strides he made for humanity as an activist? 
You tell me. What's next? MLK wasn't that good of a speaker after all? The microphone was too close to his face? Like, come on, come on. Let's be honest about these things. I don't have to like the messenger to like the message. Why do we even have to conflate the two? Think about that. A Nazi and his gaggle of women beaters assemble for a shallow misogynistic pastiche. <laughs> Bro, pastiche? I haven't heard that word since middle school. That's kind of impressive, actually. Good writing. That's some pitchfork writing if I've ever seen it. Why can't you gladly appreciate the influence we give? Stop staring at me disgusted. My substance may should you live. The other part of this combo is whether we as fans are responsible for the damage these artists are doing. Anything he puts out there that you consume, you're supporting him and everything he does. Well, the idea here being that if you stream Kanye's music, you're indirectly contributing to his anti-Semitism by keeping him famous and making him 0.00004 cents richer. But hey, those numbers add up, you know? And I get it. I guess if you and me and everyone else stopped tuning in, the bad guys would have no more fame or money. And in your mind, they would somehow end up on the street homeless, atoning for all their sins. And then justice would be served. I think what you're expecting out of people is definitely morally right. But is it realistic or productive in any way? Absolutely not. Like, how far do we go with this? Am I supporting transphobia by eating a Chick-fil-A sandwich? Am I encouraging child labor because I like wearing Air Forces? Jokey joke, by the way. You'll never catch me wearing them. But seriously, what is the plan here? You're gonna erase all the evil from this world by what? Stopping every person from consuming products that aren't made by a moral entity? It's not gonna work. Not even joking, that's like trying to eradicate crime by deploying more police officers in every neighborhood. Now the bad guys are gonna be scared to do bad things. Bro, this let's break some heads, take some corners ass mentality. The only thing these whack-a-mole tactics end up doing is adding more fire to the flame. You know, striking up more conversation around the album than there would have been otherwise. Turning Kanye into a martyr of some sort, you know, kind of platforming it in some twisted way. The most responsible and effective thing you can do in this situation is just ignore the man completely without expecting that anyone else is going to do the same. Oh no, it's already sunset. The, the sun is the sun is going down. And Kanye absolutely went too far. Let me make that perfectly clear. Him being someone who's faced discrimination in the past, I don't understand how he can't recognize the fact that he's perpetuating that same treatment towards others. You know, it's disgusting. And regardless of his intentions, probably has contributed to the historically high number of hate crimes on Jewish people. Links in the description, by the way, if you want to do some research. Look at me using my platform responsibly. All of that is very real. But at the same time, hey, I'm not Jewish. I was bored on a Saturday afternoon. Might as well pop on the new Kanye. In a perfect world, nobody would tune into this album and Kanye would realize he went too far. But we live on planet Earth where bad things happen and people don't think about the consequences of their actions. Does that make them bad people? Fuck no. Does it make them irresponsible? Maybe, but even still, that's a Bikram yoga stretch. You stretched the hell out of it. Good job. I absolutely hate the obsession of viewing everything on this huge macro scale. Like, you're indirectly contributing to this problem, that problem. People are dying on the other side of the planet. Like, bro, just worry about being fair and honest in real life to the people around you. I promise you that's 10 times more important and impactful than this online virtue signal dick measuring contest is. How are you going to fix the world when you can't even fix yourself? The critics formed a new coalition and huddled up. The non-creators are now elated and out of touch. This is JPEG Mafia. He's an experimental rapper. And I like some of his music, but I don't like the fan base he's cultivated. It's literally 92% white liberals, and that's probably a conservative estimate. If you were to go to a JPEG Mafia concert, you would just see a pool of mullets, oval glasses, bad drip. And that homogeny has always been kind of off-putting to me, but understandable considering his content matter. He shits on right-wing media, whites, and holds problematic people accountable. He's a morally righteous person. 
perfect for Twitter merchants with white gill. The reason why I'm telling you all of this is because recently this man was offered an opportunity to work with Kanye West. You know, the problematic anti-Semite. Hey, guess if he took it or not. And he took it, of course he did. Once again, the moral posturing crumbles when there's real stakes involved. You can't even judge him because deep down we're all hypocrites. What ensued is probably my favorite moment of 2024. I'm not even joking. Like this was this was poetic. Seeing how betrayed and angry all the JPEG Mafia fans felt after all this went down. Most notable about this project is the inclusion of JPEG Mafia, a former idol of mine, who managed to go from calling out abusers in the middle of one of his most iconic songs to producing for them in the space of just six years is it just me or is that pretty that's a pretty big space right but okay i get the point how cute it's impressive that after a long career of overt political messages nihilism is the only one that stuck this person definitely thinks they're the main character. The same people frantically wondering why JPEG Mafia would do this were also convinced that Ty Dolla Sign showed up just for the check. Like, I don't know how to tell you this, but all of you are out for lunch. Like, please go touch some grass. I'm begging you. You want to know why? Because any creative in the world would be giddy at the thought of even being in the same room with the man. Despite his problematic opinions, like Kanye West actually provides value to the real world. He has ideas and also the ability to make them come to life. And that will undoubtedly, unquestionably, always be more of a net positive than those who just critique and hold others accountable. But the bitter truth we critics must face is that in the grand scheme of things, the average piece of junk is probably more meaningful than our criticism designating it so. I promise if you think about this hard enough, it would be a sobering moment of realization for you. This whole pastiche, I'm just gonna start saying pastiche by the way, I don't even know what it means, but it sounds cool. Also highlights another issue. They crucify my affiliation for points to prove, and now my purpose for living makes no difference to you. Like none of us really know Kanye or JPEG Mafia, though we would like to think that we do. When we form a parasocial bond with an artist, we can't separate them from the art, okay? The artist is the art. So when JPEG Mafia responded to his fans basically saying, Hey, you're white and you'll always be white. You're way out of line and you're overstepping your boundaries as an ally, okay? You've never faced discrimination on a first hand basis. Why are you louder than the people who actually have? I added some of that in. When he responded that way, it was a turning point for many. Cause for the first time, these fans were in complete disagreement with their idol. This is when I realized that it was never just about the experimental alternative rap albums. No, no, more importantly, it was the fact that his core ideals aligned with yours. That's why you really liked it. And understandably so, I could say the same thing for myself. The reason we pick the artists we pick is because we can relate to them on some deeper level and the music is just an extension of that. If the art was to stay the same, but this time with a completely different artist behind it, the reception could be completely different. I've seen so many JPEG Mafia fans hating on that Alvin and the Chipmunks voice on Vultures, not knowing that he's the one who made it. Bro, if this was on a Peggy album, I guarantee these people would be busting, creaming, coming in and out of consciousness. It just goes to show how important buying into an artist persona really is. You know, how quickly the same snippet of sound can go from <laughs> classic Peggy to Alvin and the Chipmunks, Kanye, really? Jesus Christ, absolutely distasteful. I feel like I'm getting gaslighted, g gaslit here. It makes no sense. It's just interesting to me how every moment of abrasion on Kanye's album is used as an opportunity to proclaim it a complete failure when it's usually praised in any other context. Risks become blunders when you don't have the benefit of the doubt. I'm gonna say that one more time for the people in the back. Risks turn into blunders 
when you don't have the benefit of the doubt. Just another reminder that none of this music criticism, artistic merit, objective opinion matters at the end of the day, please. And I get why Peggy feels the way he feels about his fans. Fuck all of y'all, I'ma do what makes me happy. He knows we as fans don't really view these artists as humans. We view them as products on the shelf that we attach ourselves to and throw away as soon as they go bad. If Kanye's stuff was mediocre, I wouldn't be checking for the guy. I don't know him. If you hadn't formed a parasocial bond with JPEG Mafia, there would be nothing to be disappointed in. You'll come back around though, because he actually creates things. I got a theory that most of y'all won't allow to see. It goes like this. Talent doesn't choose morality. 